is. You have a good day. Curly, wait. You don't want to leave like this. Don't tell me what I want. I'm sick and tired of people telling me what I want to do. God, I fucked up. I'm so sorry. I... We have to talk about this. We're too close to throw away what we got. What we got? We got a fucking mess is what we got. And I had nothing to do with it. Yes, you did. Oh, excuse me? You did have something to do with it, Darlene. Hell, Lonnie Earl was crying for your attention and you refused to see it. So he came to me to talk about it and I was just trying to be your friend so I listened. And before you knew it, he was spinning you like a helicopter. You bitch. And you call yourself my friend. Damn right I do. In case you forgot, I tried to talk to you about it, too. And you kept trying to convince me and yourself that everything was great, that life was just one big bowl of cherries. Oh, go away. You know what? You're a fucking mole. And I'm not talking about that thing on Cindy Crawford's lips. I'm talking about them rodents that bury themselves in the ground. They got eyes, but since they don't use them, they can't see. Come on, elevator. Just go ahead. Just run away, darling, like you always do, just so you don't have to face anything. Shut up. You've got the world by its balls, and you don't even know it. And you know what? Because you're always throwing some goddamn Darlene pity party, moping around in those stupid overalls, feeling sorry for yourself, hiding behind your kids. God, you've got this prison built into your head, and you just love living there. Stop now. No. Wake up, Darlene. You've got a nice house. Your bills are paid. You've got healthy kids. You've got friends who care about you if you only let them. And damn it, you've got a husband who thinks you're worth fighting for. <sighs> he so desperately wants to find the woman he fell in love with. God damn it, you could really enjoy life. <sighs> if you open your eyes, you'd see that I'm right. I'd see your legs up over my husband's shoulders. Don't go there. <clears throat> Ladies? The only thing I'm still wondering is how a spoiled brat like you fucked Lonnie Earl without your daddy's permission. Roy, let's talk. Oh, shut up. They're gonna kill each Roy. other. Hey, just, just, just a sec. I just need to tell you how I'm sorry about all this. Later. Roy. Hang on. Hey. She's on her deal, you know? 